Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems and today we're going to demonstrate how to build reliable software using test point management in Enterprise Architect. Test points implement programming by contract principles by defining a set of contract clauses that determine how a class and its operations will perform. These clauses are represented in Enterprise Architect as class invariants, preconditions and postconditions. A class invariant will be evaluated by the execution analyzer whenever a method on an object of the class completes. Preconditions defined for a method will be evaluated when the method is first called, while postconditions are evaluated when the method completes. This approach helps build reliable software by allowing the developer to ask what does each routine expect, guarantee and maintain. The application we are looking at today is from the EA example model. You will need to locate the execution analysis package and ensure that the VEA test points workspace layout has been selected. We'll be looking at a native application representing how passengers embark and disembark three trains as they move around a metropolitan train network. This network is called CityLoop. The design and management of test points is typically performed on a test domain diagram, such as the example shown on screen. Below our test domain diagram, we have our test point manager, which displays each test point and the results of our tests in a convenient, easy to read table. You can see how many have been evaluated and how many have passed. The output window displays the results of any trace statements that we may have created. To view a test point, simply double click an element in the test point manager. The very first option that you'll see in our test point editor is our constraint type. Because I selected a class, there is only one option, which is invariant. If I look at an operation, you'll see that I have three types, precondition, postcondition, and line condition. The condition section is where you write your constraint using local and member variables. A status of pass or fail will be recorded depending on this constraint evaluating to true or false. The example on screen states that the number of people off the train must be greater than zero. If this condition fails, there are a number of different actions you can take. You can simply continue execution, or you can break execution, or disable on fail. If you continue execution, all of the details will be recorded in the test point manager. If you break execution, you can see the exact point at which an application fails a test. The Disable on Fail option ensures that the test will not be executed again. The Evaluate When section is used to specify exactly when you evaluate the condition. For example, you might not wish to evaluate passenger numbers prior to leaving the first station. This makes your testing far more robust. The test point editor also contains fields for generating test point trace statements. Trace statements can return values of variables and print them to a file or to the output window during the execution of a program. A trace statement can be associated with a pre or post condition whenever the condition is evaluated. You can see here that we print the number of passengers that get off the train. This has been output up here in the output window, so you can see one passenger got off the train. You might notice these special tokens. The dollar symbol is used when the variable is to be interpreted as a string, while the at token is used when the variable is a primitive type such as an integer, double or character. These tokens allow you to trace complex system behaviour such as the train number and the number of passengers that get off the train. In this video we have discussed how to create a test point using class invariants, preconditions and postconditions. 
We have also examined a test domain diagram and briefly discussed how to produce a trace statement. In our next video, we will examine more advanced concepts including test cuts, test suites and using the Visual Execution Analyzer to automatically generate a test domain diagram. For more information about test point management or to download a free trial of Enterprise Architect, please visit www.sparksystems.com.